every child is a different kind of flower and together they make this world a beautiful garden welcome back kids children in our last video we started unit 11 where does the moon go from our english students book and this is part 2 of this chapter let's recall the story quickly chotu was on the terrace with his mother and his little sister gudu chotu asked his mother why can't he see the moon in the day time so to always wonder where is the moon in the day time it was hot that day chotu and his family slept on the terrace chotu was delighted he loved to sleep on the terrace with the moon smiling down at him but chotu could not sleep that night by and by guddu papa and mummy all fell asleep chotu lay looking up at the sky and trying to count the stars finally he got up and tiptoed to the edge of the terrace then he peeped down and he was surprised and what did he see he saw that where were all the trees the flowers and the lawn he could see nothing but the darkness which looked like water then chotu saw a golden boat and that golden boat told him to jump in and they both went on a journey in the space sea that chotu saw stars and twinkling lights all around him then he came to know that he was talking to chanda mama and for him sitting on the moon was like sitting on a merry go round so children now let's see which other things did chotu see on his journey with chanda mama Okay, children. See on page number one hundred eight. They swished past many twinkling stars, who smiled, winked, and said, "Hello, Chotu." "Hello, hello," replied Chotu, waving. But there were some stars who did not wink, nor did they smile or say hello. Why are these stars glum? asked chotu in surprise because they are not stars said the moon they are planets like your earth what are planets asked chotu stars who do not twinkle said the moon they are serious and grumpy like asha aunty asked chotu that's right see the moon laughing so children chotu started his journey with chinna mama and he saw many twinkling stars who said hello to him and he also replied hello to those stars but he also saw many stars who were serious and grumpy grumpy means bad tempered and chotu relate these stars with asha aunty so children what are planets do you know yes planets are the parts of solar system which do not emit their own light they shine by taking the light from the stars like sun do you know children there are eight planets in our solar system yes now you people are going to tell me the name of these planets in our online classes then they moved on the cool night air brushed chotu's cheeks stars twinkled all around him oh look there 
a star is falling cried chotu shall we go and catch it don't bother said the moon it is a shooting star they always shoot across the sky like that so children chotu was enjoying his journey in the space sea and he saw a shooting star do you know children what are shooting stars shooting stars are also known as falling stars but they are not actually a star a shooting star is a small piece of rock or dust that travels through the earth's atmosphere the glow is because of the speed at which they move through the atmosphere the darkness around was very friendly it didn't seem scary at all suddenly the stars changed colors they became red and green and blue and white sparkling like gems and then chotu saw something really strange it was a star with a very long tail just like a broom that's a comet said the moon i don't like it chotu whispered it looks as if it is going to sweep me right away with its tail so children chotu was not frightened because the darkness around him was very friendly and the stars were changing their colors and suddenly chotu saw a star with a very long tail this which was just like a broom then chanda mama told that it's a comet then chotu said that i don't like it because he thinks that that comet was going to sweep him right away sweep means children uh to clean uh, an area by brushing away dirt or litter or some waste things so chotu thought that that comment was going to sweep him right away oh no it can do that said the moon don't be afraid suddenly chotu thought of his mother mummy papa and gudu where were they were they missing him chanda mama i want my mummy and papa said chotu where are they we have left them far behind on earth said the moon won't i see them again chotu asked sadly of course you will silly said the moon you will go back to your terrace now we will reach before the sun rises where will you go on my usual way to another part of the world where there is night other children like you will be waiting for me but i will come again tomorrow said the moon so chanda mama explained him that that comment was not going to hit him so he has not to be scared of anything then suddenly chotu thought of his family mummy papa and his little sister gudu and he asked chanda mama where are they and chanda mama told that they are far behind on the earth then chotu asked sadly that won't he see them again then the mama said that yes of course you will meet them you are going to see them again and then the mama told him that we are going back on his terrace and before the sun rises they will reach on the earth so chotu asked then the mama where he will be going then chanda mama said that he will be going to the another part of the world like him other children are waiting for him and they will meet 
again just then a strong wind blew the golden boat shoot forward almost crashing into chotu's terrace goodbye chinda mama cried chotu jumping down everyone was fast asleep mummy papa and gudu chotu smiled and jumped into his bed now chotu never asked where the moon goes in the day time because he knows so children chinda mama drop chotu into his terrace and chotu said goodbye to chinda mama and he saw that everyone was sleeping and he also went into his bed and he never asked where the moon goes in the day time because during his journey with chinda mama he got his answer that the moon goes to another part of the world in the day time so children would you like to go on an imaginary journey like chotu yes i would love to go so where are you going on an imaginary journey tonight and with whom with your parents with santa hmm let's see tonight and tell me the answer okay till then bye bye good day